Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe, who's a charity worker, was detained in April while visiting her parents with her young daughter. She's been convicted at a revolutionary court on secret charges. Um, and, and yeah, we're now in this new space where she's, she's begun a hunger strike. At, at the moment, it's a three day hunger strike. Um, at the moment, it's been well, going half a day. The longer time went between when we had the appeal and when the verdict came, obviously you start to get uncertain and unsure. How long was that? 18 days. Or something. When you look at what Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe was, was doing, it's just, you know, she, she was simply teaching people uh, journalism, as I understand it, or, at, the, at the very limit. She was, and, um, British Iranian aid worker Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe has been sentenced to a further 12 months in prison in Tehran on charges of spreading propaganda against the Iranian regime. He says she and other dual nationals are being used as bargaining chips over a long-standing military debt Iran wants Britain to repay. My job is to keep going for, for Gabriella. We probably hoped we'd get a breakthrough doing this. Uh, we haven't yet. I didn't want to go out in ambulance and want to walk out with my head held high. subject of the uh, Iranian debt. We are working uh, to resolve the issue. The British Iranian national Nazanin Zaghari Radcliffe has had her British passport returned. Well, I suppose that we can stop being a moment in history and start being a normal family again. Um, yeah, it, it's been a long time, uh, hasn't it? We were just saying, you know, last night, Gabrielle was asking us, is Molly really coming back tomorrow? I said, well, I don't, I don't know for sure. I think we're close to her. Um, I mean, I now know pretty surely she is coming home.